Hi everyone, I'm Issa. I'm a sophomore in the Viper program studying chemistry and material science. Hi there, my name is Andreas Ghosh. I'm a junior in the Viper program studying physics and chemical engineering. Hi, I'm Connor. Uh, I'm a junior studying math and computer science in the Viper program here at the University of Pennsylvania. For me, sustainability has always been important because I am originally from China and China has a huge thing on plastic things right now. Um, ever since they replaced the plastic straws with the paper straws, I have been trying to find another sustainable way to make plastic straws that are biodegradable. And this is one of my goals in the future and I really want to keep pursuing that. I was always uh, very interested in energy and I think a pivotal moment in my career was in high school when I did an internship in hydrogen fuel cells at Lawrence Berkeley National Lab. What really struck me was how I could use the chemistry and math that I learned in my high school classes and apply it to real world societal issues like climate change and coming up with new sources of energy. When I was growing up, people would always say, oh, why are we learning all this stuff? We're never gonna use it in real life. But because I'm doing energy research, I am using the stuff that I'm learning in real life. I grew up in uh, Portland, Oregon, which is a very beautiful place, a bunch of nature around there. And so I grew up hiking a lot, you know, seeing all these beautiful lakes, forests, mountains, whatnot. Growing up when I was a kid, you know, we learned about climate change in, you know, school. I didn't really, like, I guess, feel that climate change really affected me until one year, you know, there's this lake that we would always go to during the summer, and it was just completely dry. It was a huge drought in the area, and I was like, wow. Like climate change is real, right? Climate change is affecting the things I love and you know, I want to preserve it for like future generations to see. I want my kids to be able to have like the, the same sort of awe and you know, wonder at them to have these like natural beauties, right? That kind of got me interested in working on like sort of energy solutions, right? Climate change, sustainability, those kind of things. And so when I was in high school, I wanted to sort of pursue those kind of things, right? I was looking at uh, university programs. There really weren't much energy focused or like environment uh, like sort of like technically, you know, creating these energy solutions, right, technologies and whatnot, uh, except for Viper, right? Viper was like this program that stood out to me. It's like, whoa, like these people really care about energy, right? They're working to create these new technological solutions uh, to better this energy fuel. It was pretty obvious to me then that it's like, this is the place I want to be. I'm researching the formation of polymer brush on gold surfaces and how their behavior changes in different pH. My work, hopefully, is we are going to investigate the ion conductivity of the polymer brush that I'm studying and hopefully to improve the efficiency of batteries. In addition, I am also trying to do a water filter with my polymer brush. This will be a future project and I'm really excited to do that. I work for Professor Andrew Rapp in the chemistry department and my research is uh, its completely theoretical. It's about the theoretical aspects of this new photovoltaic effect called the bulk photovoltaic effect and how it behaves under a magnetic field. The photovoltaic effect is the conversion of light uh, into electrical energy. So my research is primarily coming up with uh, mathematical models for the electronic structures of materials and studying how the models change when you introduce magnetic fields. The bulk photovoltaic effect is relatively new and we don't entirely understand how it works, but it's very promising because it could lead to potentially more efficient solar energy technologies, which we all want if we want to transition to renewable energy. So understanding all the theoretical aspects of this new photovoltaic effect will allow us to better use it in solar energy technologies. And understanding the behavior under a magnetic field is one of those ways we can better understand it. So my energy research project is actually in the chemical engineering department. Uh, my uh, majors are math and computer science, but you know I'm doing research in chemical engineering. Like, you know, what's up with that? Actually, a lot of Viper students end up doing research uh, in departments that they're not actually studying in, and this really sort of speaks to the interdisciplinary nature of Viper and energy, right, as a whole field. When you're looking, working in a lab like chemical engineering, you think, oh, you're going to be, you know, dropping chemicals into beakers all day or whatnot. But actually, it's a very, very rich, deep field. Uh, for example, I myself am working on machine learning techniques uh, for sort of identifying new materials. I'm working on catalysis, uh, and that's catalysis for the water splitting reaction, right? Trying to make that 
hydrogen production more efficient and more achievable like at an industrial scale. We've he heard a lot about hydrogen cars and you know hydrogen tr sort of transportation as like the future of transportation. Obviously right now electric vehicles are kind of big uh, but I think with the you know advent of better catalysts for you know hydrogen production making that hydrogen production cheaper being able to you know overcome that hurdle will also allow for you know these new forms of transportation you know who knows what sort of uh, cars and airplanes we'll see in like you know 50 years in the future. Uh, but definitely being able to uh, make this hydrogen reaction more, uh, you know, achievable is something that is, uh, you know, that will help greatly in this energy revolution. I think by learning all the different like energy relevance and how the importance of energy and different kinds of energy through the Viper program, I am able to devote myself to the energy career in the future. Yes, I do want to keep going to grad school and keep working on like my goal of developing a biodegradable plastic straw. From my research experience from Viper and all the things I learned from the program, I am um, able to work towards my goal day by day. The energy research field is changing rapidly. Even now, I don't have an exact idea of the exact research I'm going to do for my doctorate or when I hopefully become a professor. Those are my own personal aspirations. Things are changing so much that I think it's good to have a wide skill set of both theoretical science and applying that science to industrial problems, as I said earlier. So I think Viper is giving me the broadest possible foundation so that no matter what I do in the future, I will have the skill set needed to tackle those problems. Right, I've spoken a lot about the academic rigor. It's definitely made me like sharpen my brain. I feel you know very confident in my abilities to like tackle any like technical challenge. Uh, but more so than that, it's not just me in this program, right? There are 25 other people I think that was like the uh, regular amount of people in a Viper class, all with like the same sort of passions, all the same sort of you know ability and skills to like be able to create this change. The ability to like see what other people are doing, to like connect with them and you know perhaps collaborate in the future. For our engineering senior design project, uh, I'm planning on working with uh, three other Viper students. I see a bunch of really, really cool applications we can do. I'm math and computer science, that's computational, and then I'm working with students who are like doing design and material science, who's doing you know physics and mechanical engineering, phys uh, physics and chemical engineering. All these different sort of fields coming together, I can see like a really rich like array of possibilities for you know the kinds of things we'll do in the future.